that it's really, really important to make sure that your dog, whatever reason he's wearing the muzzle for, is happy to do so, hence muzzle training. Okay, there are a couple of different sorts of muzzles, but it doesn't matter whether you're training your dog to wear a basket type muzzle or one of these nylon style muzzles that are quite often used in groomers or vets officers or even a halting. The process is going to be the same. What I will say about the head halter is that this isn't actually a muzzle, okay? It's something that's used for an aid while teaching a dog to walk nicely on a loose leash and so it can be very helpful but it's not actually a muzzle. However, you will condition it in exactly the same way. So what you're going to do to start is that you're going to get your muzzle out and you're just going to let your dog look at it and you're going to give them treats. So you're not asking them to do anything, just muzzles out and that means that they get treats. You're going to repeat this several sessions, yes. short sessions, two to three minutes long, several times a day. Yes, and I'd do this for at least a couple of days before you even attempt to put the muzzle close to the dog. Yes. So that's it. Muzzle comes out, she gets a treat. Yes. Muzzle goes behind your back no treats. While there's no muzzle, there's no treats. It's only when the muzzle appears that the treats come out. Yes, good girl. Stage two is that we're going to bring the muzzle nearer to the dog. I'm not going to put it on her nose though, just so that you realise that you're not putting this on your dog's nose. Yes, we're just bringing it near her. If your dog does put their nose in, well that's a bonus, yes, but as you can see I'm not trying to put this over a nose, yes, I'm just letting her see, yes, that it's a good thing, this muzzle brings lots of treats, yes. Once you've repeated that step several times, and what you're going to do, so you're going to put some treats, a few treats, into the bottom of the muzzle. And you're going to hold it like that, put the treats in so that you're catching them. And you're going to hold this and she's going to put her nose in there to get these treats. Good girl. And take the muzzle away. I don't really want her to pull her head out because I don't want her to get used to pulling away from the muzzle. I want her to be used to going up towards it. Okay? So we get a few more treats. I'm going to put my hand there. So drop one. In they go. So they're cupped in my hand. Present it to Tessa. She puts her nose in. She gets the treats. Good girl. And I pull it away. And I'll do once more to show you. So I've got some nice tasty sausage here. And over butter so that it doesn't fall straight through. Food in there. Present it. She puts her nose in. I don't put it on her. I bring it away. The next stage is that you are going to put this on the nose for a few seconds. Okay? So I've got my food ready. I'm going to hold it like this underneath and I'm going to see if she puts her nose in. Yes. And if she does, I'm going to feed her through it. Yes. nose in. Yes. Good girl. And I bring it away. Yes. It's okay if they don't. You just wait. She will at some point.
bites at it, just ignore. Yes. And this can be the point at which your squeeze each cheese is a good idea because if your muzzle hasn't got such a big opening, you might be struggling a bit to put the food through. Yes, kick yeah. Okay, so she's happily putting her nose in there. So next step is that I want her to keep her nose in there for a little bit longer. So I am now going to take my squeezy cheese, take the lid off, I'm going to hold the muzzle in the same way, let her come forward, but I'm going to feed her constantly for a few seconds to keep her nose in there for a few seconds. Yes, good girl. Is that nice? Good girl. And I bring this away, okay? Nose goes in, and this lovely cheese starts again. Good girl. What a good girl in your muzzle. Good girl. And we take it away again. Muzzle out of sight, nothing happens. Try not to even give your dog much attention at this point when the muzzle isn't coming forwards. Okay? Muzzle comes forward. Yeah, what's this? What's that? What's this? Yes. Notice I waited. She was heading for the cheese. I moved the cheese out of her sight and waited for her to put her nose in the muzzle. Good girl. And take the muzzle away again. You may have to repeat this for several days for your dog to feel comfortable. In fact, I'd like you to repeat it for several days before you start trying to actually fasten this muzzle onto their nose. And the next stage isn't fastening it, it's just pretending to fasten it. So I'm going to show you. So I'll get my cheese again, let her put her nose through. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is just bring these straps round as I'm fastening it. So I'm just playing around her neck here. And I'm going to take it away. Good girl. So muzzle's gone. And that's it everything stops. Muzzle comes back. We're going to repeat the straps again. So let me get the muzzle ready. So she puts her nose in. Yes. And we're going to bring these straps around again. So it's the feeling that she's getting of me going around the back of her neck and playing with these straps. And that's all I'm doing as you can see. We'll do that once more. So muzzle. Let her put her face in the muzzle. Yeah, good girl. The cream cheese starts again. And I play with the straps again. Good girl. Is that nice? Yeah. Is that really good, is it? Yeah. And away it goes again. Right, what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to fasten the muzzle around her neck. Not on her nose, but I am going to fasten it so that it's just hanging on her neck. Okay, so I'm going to take the muzzle. I'm going to go back to my treats this time. She's trying to put her nose in. I'm just going to bring it there. I'm going to give her a treat. While she's having the treat, I am going to clip it and fasten it around her neck. Good girl. I'm not going to do this too tightly. But I just want it to be on her neck like that. Yes. Now you can give your dog lots of treats, but what you can also do is go and have a fun play session while they've got this hanging around their necks. A bit of movement is good so that they're getting used to the feeling of that being there. So the next stage is that I'm going to put the muzzle on and I'm going to fasten it and leave it on for a few seconds. So in order to do this, I'm actually going to put some cream cheese here on the end of this muzzle so that she's getting a treat as soon as it goes on and my hands both free to fasten it okay so we let her put her nose in what's this yeah what's this come on what's this yeah good girl very good 
girl. I'm going to quickly fasten it here around her head. It's the easiest ones to fasten, is it, Tessa? I've got my treats ready. Yes, and if you noticed, I've left it loose. Want it to be comfortable for her. Yes. Yes, good girl. So it's nice and loose. Yes. I will fit it better than this when she's wearing it for a long period of time. This is just for training, but it's so loose. Yes. And we'll give her one more. Yes. And I'm going to take it off. That's as long as I want your dog to have it on. Okay, give them a little break and then do the same again. Some cheese on it or some peanut butter they tend to love peanut butter too we'll put that there so she puts her nose into it yes good girl and I'm going to fasten it again this time I'm going to put it on a bit better a bit tighter so it fits a bit better good girl she's more or less finished licking that off and so now the treats yes And I'm going to take it off again. And what you then do is you build on this period of time that the dog has got the muzzle on. Yes, good girl. Um, just gradually build it up. So don't go out with them straight away with it on. But what you can do is you can put it on and do something fun that they really enjoy doing. And that is how you muzzle train your dog. Good girl. And that's it. That's how you muzzle train your dog and make sure that your dog is happy to wear a muzzle. Short training sessions repeated over several days, in fact, maybe even several weeks. Go at the pace that suits your dog. You want your dog to be running towards this muzzle when you get it out before you actually use it for any period of time.